Hey, are you confused with setting up a Zoic? Don't worry, you're not alone. I was really confused back in the day, so in this video, I'm gonna explain the complete A to Z guide to setting up a Zoic. My name is the London Nomad, and it's my mission in life to make you financially free. The first step is you want to add a new site to a Zoic. So, all you have to do is add a new site, write down your site and click save. I recommend integrating your site to a Zoic is using Cloudflare. And if you don't know, Cloudflare is basically a content delivery network that makes your website faster and more secure and it's for free. So I recommend everyone sign up to Cloudflare and then all you have to do is you have to put in your email and your password and boom, save and your website will be easily integrated with a Zoic. There's another way by going to your host and changing the DNS settings to point to a Zoic that a Zoic will give you. I don't recommend doing this simply because Cloudflare is a faster and easier way to integrate. And add text. Now this is a file that showcases the Google that you're able to have ads on your site. So what you want to do is you want to go to your WordPress dashboard. You want to search to add text manager. And every resource that I mention is going to be in the description of this video to make it more useful for you. And all you want to do is click activate and ads text will be installed. What you're going to do is download the fixed sidebar widget. And you need to download the one that says Q2WF fix a widget for WordPress. Now you want to activate the plugin. Once it's activated, you want to go to the settings and here you want to modify the settings to 50 to 100 margin bottom. Then you want to go to your monetization section in a Zoic. You want to click on new placeholder and you want to go to the sticky sidebar floating. Now this is going to pay you the most amount of money because it's always shown to your audience. You're going to click save Then you want to copy and paste this code back into the fixed sidebar widget. You can see sidebar widgets. So you want to click on sidebar custom HTML. You want to drag it over. You want to call it whatever fixed sidebar widget. And in the content, you want to copy and paste the code you took from a Zoic and you want to click on fix widget. If possible, you want to head on over to monetization, scroll down and make sure native ad units get the are most ticked. Money to get the most money possible, you want to head on over to monetization. Around here where it said ad tester, we want to go on general settings and you see these, the vignette ads, vignette ads, blah, blah, blah. We want to put them all on. And this is a very high paying ad that is a page that encompasses the entire screen. You know, people, users are accustomed to this. You want to head on over to settings. You want to go on update settings. You want to click all of these and you want to turn them to 100%. What this is going to do is this is going to show ads to 100% of your visitors. If you click 90, you're going to shortchange yourself because one in 10 people aren't going to be shown ads. And also, you want to set it to revenue focused. I had balance before, but when I set to revenue focused, I earn considerably more money and I recommend you do the same to earn more money for your site. You're going to download the Zoic ad extension on Chrome and you're going to click Add extension. In order for it to work properly, we're going to have to enable a Zoic on incognito browser. So what you're going to do is you head on over to your extensions, you're going to go and manage extensions, and right at the bottom, you're going to click allow incognito. You can only add ads in incognito mode, so this is a necessary step. If you value in this video, please like because it helps to spread to more people. So we're going to go to your website on an incognito browser and go to the page that has the most words. So we're gonna click the icon. So we're gonna click this and we're gonna click on create. And you wanna select it to automatically declare. So the first thing we wanna do is say to select location. And then it's obviously gonna load. First thing we want to do is we want to insert the side heading. So you wanna go insert here and you want to click on sidebar top because obviously this is the top of the sidebar. Boom, slap the placeholder. It's going to take time depending on your internet connection. And then what we're going to do is we're going to edit it, change it to 300 and 250. Now it is going to automatically change, but don't worry about that. So then boom, so boom, you can just click this. As you can see here, now you want to revert it back to 3250. So we want to get to the bottom of the bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and then we're going to click on that. And boom, as you can see, this is going to be the middle of the sidebar. 
So boom, do the same thing you usually do. Right here, you wanna change it. Again, always make it so it's two fitted. What we're gonna do is we want to have fixed ad placements that are gonna pay a lot more money. So we wanna have this one as the top of the page. So obviously, top of the page. So the next one we wanna do is under the first paragraph. So you wanna click, keep on clicking. As you can see here. So keep on clicking, boom, on the first paragraph. Now we could do on the page title as well, but this can get very, very messy. And this is one of Azot's problems that's hella, hella messy. So boom, on the first paragraph. And then obviously the next one is gonna be on the second paragraph. So boom, click this. And this is gonna be on the first paragraph. Now to make this be a lot less messy, we want to go on here and we want to click on only show indicators. As you can see, it's a lot more less messy, less bullshit going on. So then what we want to do is on the first paragraph, the next one is going to be on the second paragraph. But as you can see, this is called a group query post, so I don't really have a second paragraph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on this and I'm going to do on on the second paragraph. The next ones, you're just going to have to repeat what I've showed you and click on in content. So what you want to do is you don't want to have in content too often. So you want to scroll down to where you can't see that second ad and around about here, you want to slap on the first in content. As you can see, boom, in content. And we're also we're going to do bottom of the page afterwards. And this is why you want to go on your big, biggest, chunkiest post because if you rely, and I mentioned this in my Zoic review, if you rely on someone else to do it for you, i.e. someone who works in the Zoic, they're not going to do all the in content that you need for a big post. So if you have a pillar post that's 3,000 words, they might put the ad placements up into 1,000 words, but then everywhere after that, there's going to be no ads, so you're not going to be earning money. So as you can see, mid content, I guess it doesn't really matter, mid content, in content, as you can see, as soon as I scroll past there where you can't see it, slap it again you want to have it i think you want to have them be just above the title so anything that separates it like an image or a title or a youtube video you want to have there you don't want to have the ads messing up the texts so as you can see here boom boom around about here when it cuts off boom you know doesn't have to be complicated doesn't have it can be simple and content free now obviously the more Post, the more detail you have in your post, the more you're going to have to do this. Again, in content two, in content three. Again, when it levels off, you can see here, because I have an H, H3 heading, this is the perfect time to do in content four. Although maybe I should have done in content three instead. Does it matter? No. Oh no, that's right. In content four, boom. Again, here's a perfect, whoops, shit. Again, here's a perfect time because it's just above the H3. You want to do in content five. And this is one of the problems with a Zoid because you're gonna, you have to do all these things yourself. Like this is, for a non-techie person, I've done this numerous, numerous times and it's still confusing for me. I still have to think, oh, what do I have to do, blah, blah, blah. Whereas if you go for media buying, you know what I'm saying? Media buying is everything is done for you. It's simple, it's seamless. Whereas this is stress. This is why a lot of people, they don't put Zoic on their site. They wait till Media Vine till they get 50,000 hits. I don't recommend doing this because you'll leave your money on the table. But because of how you know annoying it is to do, I can understand why people do it. Again, you can see this space, slap it out there. Now you're most likely only going to have, you know, three to four different in-content ads, depending on how big your, your sites are. But because this was, you know, about 2,000 words, it allows me to you put more ads. Seven. Again, here is the perfect time. Slap on eight.
seven, eight. Again around here, slap on nine. So we're almost done here. Eight, and I'm just gonna be a bit cheeky and slap one just above my uh, the author ten. And the last one we're gonna do is bottom of the page. So again, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, click here, and then slap bottom of the page. Oh, 50, that's a big, big post. Bottom of the page, boom, boom. And that's it. All your ads should be getting you the most amount of money possible utilizing this. And I might do one above title just for the sake of it, see what it looks like. No, under page title. I'm not going to do it because it might be too messy. Again, simple. I hope this video has allowed you to set up a Zoic. If you appreciated it, please like because it helps it spread to more people. If you want to see the complete guide on how to interlink to increase your traffic with no money and little time investment, please more watch my video. My name is Alanda Nomad and it's my mission in life to make you financially free. Goodbye.